Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is my birthday, actually. It's Monday, February 17th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Happy Monday, everyone. And there's no better time than right now to start taking action towards some of your big goals for the year. And if you're Hunter Labrada, it means you're one weekend closer to making your pro debut. Right now, the former NPC national champ is 14 weeks out from stepping onto an IFBB stage for the first time, where he'll be looking to take the new wheels out for their first spin. The last I heard, Hunter's weight was floating somewhere in the range of 270, and he looked to be in decent shape in the photos I saw. So depending on where he ends up landing, I can see him being a solid contender in this lineup. Sometimes people plan to do things Then the universe steps in and says, no, 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 no. Let me tell you how this is going to go. And unfortunately, I think that might be the case for Luke Sando at the moment. Reports are that Luke aggravated an old pec injury last week in the gym, which resulted in some tearing. And as far as I know, this doesn't seem to be a season ender. But you just never know with some injuries. Add that to the fact that Luke trains as heavy as anyone in bodybuilding, and we could have a situation that ends up getting worse over time. But until we hear word from Luke's camp that this is derailing his plans, we're just going to assume that he's still planning to make another deep run into the 2020 season. This is an exciting time if you're a women's physique fan. The division's never been deeper. We have a champion who looks like she'll end up being an all-time great, and we have a lot of new talent on the horizon. And this summer, it looks like we'll have a chance to see One of those new talents make their pro league debut when rookie in training Lauren Martin Stowe marches into Toronto. Lauren won her pro card at the North American Championships last year and it seems like she's figured out how to make some serious improvements over the course of her off season. The Toronto pro is always a strong show as far as the talent level is concerned. But if she does what she needs to do from a conditioning standpoint, that should be enough to put her in the conversation for a top finish. I haven't seen the movie 1917 yet, but I hear that the cinematography might be the best that it's ever been in any movie. But when you're dialed in the way Ricky Moten Jr. is right now, you don't need Hollywood special effects to make you look good. For one reason or another, Ricky hasn't really generated a ton of buzz during this Arnold Classic prep. But he's starting to get to the point now where people won't be able to ignore him much longer. Last year's fourth place finish was really a breakout effort for him. But now that we've all seen that act once, the expectation for the sequel is even better. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 